Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQGIS GIS in the GIS World Academy. In this short video, I want to tell you how we can call and connect QT objects to our PyQGIS GIS code. If you are excited, let's get started. Last session, we talked about how we can create and design our plugin. So maybe we can launch our plugin and then we just give some data. Maybe we can test it right now. Okay, just I will open the Python because if you remember, just maybe I can jump into my code. Uh, yes, in the last video, let me just find, yeah. It's, it was very easy. First of all, we created one button and then it, it was the name of the Qt object. It was input data push button. And then we are calling this button always from our dialog layout generator and line layout generator is coming from the layout generator dialog from the this file. Also, definitely these names, it should be the same. Uh, but maybe we can correct it right now because uh, la, da, 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 here, yes, here we can easily refactor them. So, and after that, maybe everything underline dialog. Perfect. Yeah, I think it looks good and I think everywhere it should be changed yes you can see that uh, we are calling this button and then we are saying that if we are clicking on this button it should be connected to this function and then we don't need to call the functions just we need to assign the function to this connect function okay so after that we have the layout generator dot building file widget dot file path and then with this uh, action uh, so we are getting the file path okay so maybe we can test it once again so just we should add one shape file load data yes there you go it is working properly okay right now what we want to do so we have our function. So right now we want to click on this button and instead of definitely, this is not our aim. We want to load our data. Okay, what we wanna do just. But before that, uh, we need all those functions that we wrote in our previous sessions in the PyQGIS tutorial. I think I have already also opened them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes, all of them are there. So I need, yes, I need this file and this file. Import vector layer, display vector layer, and zoom to layer. I will copy them and I will back to my folder. Then I need to create one Python file. <sighs> the naming of the file always is difficult, maybe core function. Core function, yeah. Core, core fun or functions, very good, anything. Okay, just I want to paste them. It's good that we have some comment on the top. So maybe comment, comment by Q, by, by Q, G, I, yes, functions. Good. Okay, then, so we need to import also these layers, sorry, not import, from qgis.core, I want to import, this one, I don't want it to type it again, qgis project, you are right, and because, because I have not connected to the, to the Python of the QJS, these are the reasons of the errors. And also, I need the iFace uh, from where we are importing the iFace from in QGIS. That, uh, utils import iFace. Yeah, good. So we have already have these things uh, import vector, display, and zoom to layer. Then 
I will go to my layout generator. And also, again, we should maybe take a look at our QGIS. So we have this one, this one, when we have, when we click on this button, we want to load these layers. So the, the issue is completely cleared. So I have definitely two layers, yes. This is my idea to create a very specific, a very small list. First, I will get the, the names. For example, it was building. And, and after that, I want to say that for this one, store the path. Yes, because we need the path for importing the data. Because QGIS vector data, then we need the layer path. So uh, I need the name of it because QGIS vector and layer name because the input the input of the QGIS vector layer is the path of the layer plus the name of the layer. Good, and I will duplicate this. I don't want to write it again. So we have a building and land parcel. Land parcel maybe. What is the problem of that? Oh, because, uh, okay, uh, this is, yeah, you are right, but please save it in my dictionary. I want to have it like this. Uh, layout generator, and also we can separate it with underline, but anyway, anyhow, it's fine. So uh, then here, I think here it was a land parcel, but I'm not really... QT designer, maybe I can open my the QT designer and we can take a look at it from there. So layout generator, I hope that it was a correct one. And maybe I so I can edit this one, which is very bad. A direct story, I think because last session we uh, the session is for 30 minutes in our lecture and it was too long, so I think I didn't take pay attention to the namings. Okay, so I need to see the what is the object name. It is land parcel file widget. So back here. So instead of building file widgets, we should add land parcel file widget dot file path. Good. And then how we can handle it for layer in layers uh, for layer in layers uh, so first of all we should say that okay this is the path this is a name import it okay so in that case we can import head layer is equal to import import vector layer so i want to import it yes it's completely correct and also on the top of this part we have import vector layer it's correct and then for the input value we need the layer path so definitely the layer path is the second one so i want to give minus one and also layer name it will be the first one um, yeah good and then the next one that i wanted to do is this play vector here you can see that i'm really familiar with the name of the functions that i created you can do the same thing uh, and definitely it, it will definitely increase your coding speed maybe you can write the complete names uh, complete name of the functions and the packages every time but anyway this one i think it's super easy we can already seen in our last tutorials how we are working with that so what are our inputs of this function the inputs is the layer so i should give the imported layer and also the second thing what was the second thing is the name of the we don't need it name but anyway anyhow we can say that go to the layer and take the first one after that zoom 
to layer. Okay. Zoom to layer. Zoom to layer from the core functions. Yeah, perfect. Then we should give the layer name. We import that layer. Okay. Maybe we can test it right now. How does it work? And yes. Yeah. Everything is based on pep8. So we should go to, uh, I think we should go to our not plugin. We should go to our QGIS file. We don't need it. So first of all, it's a layout generate, so it is correct. So I will, oh my God. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, we can solve any error. Mm -hmm. No module name core functions. It's weird. <laughs> okay, but let's see what is the error. So where is my function? Here is a core file. Ah, yeah, yes, I know that. Uh, we should add it like this. And then in this case, we should tell to the QGIS, QGIS, in this folder, you should go and find our core functions. Okay. Okay, here is QGIS and generator we should update so reload it again hopefully we don't have that error good maybe we can give AI. this is this is our exactly same data we started from the first of the PyQJS tutorial but that you can you can add any data that you want no worries okay and the land parcels load data I think it's good. Mm -hmm. So I want to load it like this. First of all, building and then the land parcel. Let's see what we did here. So first of all, it will load the buildings and after that, the land parcel. So we can change the order. Yeah. Good. So in that case, first of all, land parcel will be loaded and then buildings but maybe it will be a good task for you how we can activate our how can i say this layer order panel how we can activate this layer order panel and then how we can change the order manual not manually uh in our plugin okay this is first of all building should be loaded and then after that the lamp are socially loaded uh okay i wanted to talk about also qml loader how we can uh, load our geodata with a specific symbology, not hard-coded one, but I think the time of the video is enough, so we can postpone it to the next session. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your time, which is very important for me and all your intentions. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment it in the comment section below, and, uh, and if you want to support us, don't forget to recommend JS4 channel to your friend. See you all in the next video. Bye.